Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets, out here outside on a lovely spring day. Spring finally arrived, as you've seen in some other videos. Here in Denmark, uh, catching the last rays of sunlight to review a beer from a quite new brewery over in the UK. Uh, this is a beer from the Rocky Head Brewery, and this is their pale ale. And there it is for you. As you can see, it was established in, in 2012, which is. <laughs> Not too long ago, and I think they've only made a couple different beers, like two actually. But uh, yeah, and they're based in like in, it's one of the newer London breweries. It's it's not I think it's not centre London. It's more in the out outskirts, uh, something like that. It says here it's in Rockhead Breweries in uh, Kimber Road, London. Uh, I'm not sure where that was, but I remember Chris and Steve, uh, our friends over in London, talking about that. Uh, it was. Um, in the London area. Now it says Rocky Head is a small artisanal brewery set up by a group of friends on a mission to share the glory of modern full flavored beers and they are inspired by the American New World tradition using New Zealand and American hops. And it says our inaugural pale ale is an ex exuberant mix of malted and toasted barley and obscene amount of New World leaf hops added at every possible stage of the brewing process unfiltered and bottled condition to preserve all the flavor. Stand bottle and fridge return for a brewery. So, uh, but not doesn't say what hops they use or anything, but it should be interesting. A new UK brewery, and that's really what's happening in London at the moment. It's, oh, by the way, yeah, it's an American Pale Ale, 6.5%. Well, that's really what's happening in London at the moment. A lot of new breweries coming, making American-themed beers with lots of hop, but, uh, hops and a little lower ABVs. I mean, 6.5, they could be categorized as an IPA as well, but uh, let's get it poured. Nice orange color, white head on there. I can like smell it already, so let's get that copper color. Let's take it out. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Um, sweet citrus fruits, orange tangerine. It does have a slightly toasted note, actually. Toasted cereal grain or something like that, or caramel. Definitely toasty, which is interesting in a pale ale. A little bit of tropical fruit, definitely piney, resiny notes as well. It's like that mix of piney resin and fruity juicy uh, aromas. Because I definitely still get some great fruity and sweeter citrus fruits. Just slightly tropical though. It's not all the way over in the nice like pineapple and mango flavors. It's just a little uh, notes of it. it. Smells pretty nice. So yeah, let's give it a taste guys. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Um, that toasty note is kind of still there in the flavor. And it's got a decent caramel backbone. Now, this was bottled on the 18th of December 2012. So it's not entirely fresh anymore. I'm drinking this on the, what, 2nd or 3rd of April. Now, I said it's got a decent hot flavor. It's got the caramel, toffee notes, and the hot flavor in there. Now, it's a lot of resin and kind of earthy, garlicky, oniony notes. Uh, but uh, on the forefront of your tongue and the like, the, the palate, you get uh, the citrusy notes, like the grapefruit and sweeter citrus fruit, like tangerine and stuff. It has an almost like that pellet quality to it, like the dusty pellet quality you sometimes can get in hops, but it's not made with pellets, it's made with whole, whole leaf hops. Um, I can't really pinpoint what hop that is, though. But it's pretty good. It's it's more or less in the East Coast tradition as of right now. It also has some bitter grapefruit notes, but it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a pretty nice for a new upcoming brewery or in the UK. But it's definitely in the East Coast style, I think, with the earthy, resiny flavors. I myself prefer the West Coast style hoppy beers, but it's still pretty good. I mean, it's a really nice pale ale. Rating wise, I'm going to go 80 on this one, guys. Great stuff. Definitely worth checking out. If you can get anything from Rocky Head Brewery, I'm sure it's going to. I think at the moment they're only available in the UK. This is certainly pretty tasty. Definitely worth checking out if you get the chance. So, guys, yeah, guys, definitely let me know what you think of it. Uh, the Rocky Head Pale Ale, if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.